Welcome back. I have another amazing read aloud for you guys today. If you give a mouse a brownie by Laura Numeroff and illustrated by Felicia Bond. We are so excited to read this book today. And our letter of the day is B. What's this on my letter B? It is broccoli. B. Broccoli starts with B. B says B. What does B say? B. That's right. And in this book, we're going to read about a brownie. And this is a brownie. And brownie also starts with the letter B. So can you think of some other words that start with the B sound? Maybe where do you sleep at night? In a bed, right? Bed starts with B. Um, some of you guys will take the bus to school. Some food you might like to eat would be a banana. Some animals that start with B are bears and beetles. Sometimes you guys will ride your bikes outside. If it's not small, it's really b -b big. That's right. Maybe you like to bounce a ball or carry a bat. And those are some words that start with B. So let's take a look at our book today, If You Give a Mouse a Brownie. And we're just going to notice what we see in these pictures. So I see a boy and I see a mouse. I see a boy and a mouse on every page. So it looks like we have two characters, a boy and a mouse. And they are doing all kinds of different activities. So let's find out what they do in this book. If you give a mouse a brownie. If you give a mouse a brownie, he's going to ask for some ice cream to go with it. When you give him the ice cream, he'll ask you for a spoon. He'll start drumming on the table. Drumming will get him so excited, he'll want to start a band. You'll have to play guitar, and he'll want to put on a show. Then you'll need some spotlights and a microphone. You'll have to build a stage. When the stage is finished, he'll want to make lots of tickets. You'll have to find paper and markers. When the tickets are done, he'll decide to make posters as well. He'll hang them all over the neighborhood. When he's out hanging them, it might start to rain. He'll fold up the posters and make a little boat. Then he'll sail it in a puddle. He'll get so wet, he'll start to sneeze. Achoo! And you'll have to put him in your pocket so he can stay nice and warm. When he peeks out of your pocket, he'll smell something delicious. And the smell will remind him that he's hungry. You'll have to take him to the store to get a few things to nibble on. And of course, he'll want to have a picnic. When the sun comes out, you'll have to take him to the park. While you're setting up the picnic, he'll see the playground and he'll jump on the swings. He'll go as high as he can. When he looks up at the sky, he might notice a big white cloud. The cloud will remind him of ice cream. He'll probably ask you for some. And chances are, if you give him some ice cream, he'll want a brownie to go with it. Okay, I've got some questions for you guys and I wanna see if you can get them right. So, what did the mouse ask for to go with his brownie? There's a hint on the cover of the book. Did he ask for sprinkles to go with his brownie? or ice cream. That's right, he asked for ice cream. Nice job. There he is getting his ice cream with his brownie. So then he has a spoon. Does anyone remember what he did with the spoon? Hmm, let's think. Did he balance the spoon on his head or did he use it 
to drum on the table. He was drumming on the table with the spoon. Nice. Who built the stage? Was it the boy or was it the mouse? That's right, it was the boy. Nice. And where did they hang their concert posters when they made posters? Where did they hang them? Was it inside the mall or was it all over the whole neighborhood? The whole neighborhood. Then it started to rain and they had these posters. So what did the mouse make out of the posters? Was it a pretend house or was it a boat? It was a boat. And where did the boy put the mouse when it rained? Did he put the mouse under his hat or inside of his pocket? His pocket, really good job. And then where did they go when the sun came out? Did they go to the library or did they go to the park? That's right, they went to the park. And who went as high as they could on the swing? Was it the boy or the mouse? The mouse, very nice job. And what did the mouse want to eat at the end of the story? Was it milk and cookies? Or was it a brownie and ice cream? It was a brownie and ice cream, just like at the beginning of our story. So let's think about our character, the mouse. What is he like? Is he really shy and quiet? Is he really focused? Nope, he's not really. He has a lot of energy and he likes to be really busy and he gets easily distracted. He doesn't really focus on one thing. He likes to do a lot of things, right? And let's think about the boy. Is the boy a kind, helpful friend? Or is he saying, no, I'm not going to help you? That's right. The boy really wants to help the mouse and he does anything the mouse asks him to do but he gets pretty tired from fulfilling all the mouse's requests. So how do you think the boy felt when the mouse asked him to do so many things? When the mouse asked him to build the stage, how would you feel? He might have felt a little bit annoyed or upset. We noticed some new words in this book that we haven't really seen before, like the word spotlight right here. And the word spotlight is referring to a light that shines on a stage. And later in our story, we see another word that we haven't seen before. And it's when the mouse gets hungry and they're going to the grocery store to get some things for the mouse to nibble on. And nibble just means to take a tiny little bite of something. So I hope you enjoyed if you give a mouse a brownie and if you did go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel for more and then go ahead and leave a comment telling me what you liked about the video and you can even leave suggestions for me to do future videos or future read alouds. Have an awesome day.